as you can see it was a problem with the alternator I need to change it I, I have all the spare parts there but it was quite lazy to change it also you have to change the fuel filter because you may encounter a flat spot and um, when you try to do a hard acceleration something like that but if you wait like one two seconds it runs pretty well um, yeah I do need to change the fuel filter <laughs> um, but I will change it tomorrow maybe today I will give it a few rounds but from the old carburetor to this one man there's quite a difference really the idle is smooth all the way as you can see around 800 rpm you can adjust it but uh, I leave it out around that there is no smoke no clouds I mean pretty nice really really nice and it sounds beautiful but I promise, I promise tomorrow I will change the alternator because I mine is damaged. I will change the spark plugs, do a little maintenance on the distributor. And by far, this was the best replacement ever. So, Weber guys, this carburetor can also be installed on a Suzuki Swift with a little bit of work, but uh, it is possible. It is possible and you have you just have to use the same kit that uses to your hotel cell and the rest I mean this is just one plate opening now for both plates I mean it's wow <laughs> the only thing is that both plates open around mainly 5,000 RPM, 4,000, and I really doubt that they're gonna use the second plate ever because, man, it runs really, really good. I don't know if the plates, the opening of the second plate is adjustable, but it's okay. I mean, it's, it's really okay. I will test it later. Right now, I'm really, really happy. Oh, well, don't mind the diesel in on this this car, I mean my car, because I got a real problem with diesel, but that is because old spark plugs, timing, I need to do my timing, and um, also, I mean it's an old engine, well it was rebuilt two years ago, but uh, uh, I spent like two months with the old carburetor, failing, uh, injecting too much fuel, and I know that the that the chambers maybe are like completely carbonized so the diesel in from time to time maybe one three four months will be there maybe they will go out soon I hope but the rest I mean the engine runs like a cat I also need to do some bubble clearance but I will do that tomorrow really I mean I spend the whole day installing the carburetor and they've been tired but to tell you the truth the engine runs really really good really now let's see if it doesn't diesel this time well it did it happens <laughs> from time to time and with the old carburetor it it was a pain to start but with this one you know, maybe wait like 30 seconds 60 seconds and you can start it over but the rest I mean it's not dieseling as bad as, as it was before I just need to run it really hard see if the chambers clean up change the spark plugs the spark, plug, spark plug cables some maintenance on the distributor I mean there's a lot of stuff I need to do but I mean to have a new carburetor work like a charm I mean it's one big step really Really, I recommend it. If you don't have problems with the old carburetor, you can leave it. But if you want more power, uh, better idle, and fuel economy, you gotta you gotta get the K71 kit for to let yourself into the Swift. You gotta do it. I mean, it's the best replacement you can do.
for real. I recommend it. Well, thanks everyone and long and long life to the weather.